Hi guys, long time no see. Hi guys, I hope you are having a wonderful day. I know that I am because I didn't have to work today. <laughs> it is currently raining, as you can tell. Um, and it's cold here in Texas, so fun time. It is very windy. You can probably hear it because my wall, if you can tell, acts as a speaker for the wind, so it is just extra loud. Um, but yeah. It's supposed to snow tomorrow here in Texas, and it's just gonna be part two of last year. No, I'm just kidding. It's probably not gonna be that bad. Um, I am looking forward to it. I hope it snows. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be very disappointed, and I will probably riot because I like it. So today I'm going to be doing a long overdue um, dorm tour. It is currently the spring semester. I had originally filmed a video in the fall, when the first week I got here, but then some things happened, didn't get uploaded. I will get to that later. I'm going to explain some life updates and things along those lines. But I'm just gonna be doing a dorm tour right now so you don't have to listen to it before before we go into that, so yeah. So before I go on, I am in the honors suite at Tarleton and these dorms are pretty nice. I get my own room and vanity and the only thing we have to share is, with my roommate, um, is a toilet and shower. So um, yeah, so let's get to it. Here's our beloved door, our entrance. Um, this is still here from Thanksgiving. We love that. Um, I stole some things off the each floor and put them on my door for decoration. Um, our microwave and fridge. And this is just um, a little fun area that we have here. Um, that's my roommate's coffee cart. Um, and this is our couch. All of this stuff is mine because I'm obsessed with Squishmallows and that is a goat. I thought it was a cow, so it's a coat. Um, and then we have this corner over here. Um, that is a tiny chair and that's Edwin on the ground. Sorry, buddy, we thought we were gonna get to hang you, but no. And yeah, that's what we have there. So this is our living space. Um, this is when you first walk into the dorm. And right over here we have a, a storage thing I guess, because you don't have cabinets in here or a kitchen, which kind of sucks, but yeah. So right as you come in the door, you take a right and there is our bathroom area. So this is my area. As you can see, it's very, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have, this is our vanity and my roommates is here. And this is, in this store, we have our shower and our toilet area. Um, this is just toilet paper holder, a little towel rack. Um, yeah. So there's not much to it, just to the bathroom area. And you just kind of like from the door you just walk straight and know it's my roommate's room and this is my room. It is clearly, I have too much stuff. So you walk in and I have this little area. I recently just added this, I really like it. I have some lights, my calendar and a canvas thing and my books and I just really like this area. This little fridge has my beloved Celsius drinks in that. Celsius, please sponsor me. Um, and then I have more Celsius down there. And right here we have my shoe rack, dirty clothes, and closet area. So that's that. And then I have a body mirror. And that's nothing special. And over here we have a copy cart. I completely copied my roommate with this. Love you, Emily. And I have picture wall, TV, desk. I just have a bunch of random stuff here. 
Um, and yeah, this is my bulletin board. I have a bunch of letters from my friend in a different college. And these are my plants and my diffuser that is currently going on. Cute cat lamp that is dead and my beloved succulents. And then I thrifted this. It is a birdhouse mushroom, but clearly I'm not gonna use it for birdhouse because I don't wanna ruin it. And my favorite part of my entire dorm is this area where I sleep. Um, I have my Squishmallow collection, my Kuma, I guess, my friend gave that to me, I love it. And I did a collage wall with some lights. I got that from Urban, you probably saw that if you watched my college haul video or whatever. And I have some art here, that's Nezuko from Demon Slayer and, um, Todoroki from My Hero and then I got that from Five Below and yeah so that is basically my dorm. Um, I can give you a wall tour if you'd like. You probably don't care but I will. So what I did was I just got a, mostly a bunch of pictures and printed them from Pinterest but these little things right here are tarot cards and I just took the ones that I liked and put them on my wall. And these come from a set on Amazon and I got this from a friend. My favorite show is The Office, so that is cool. And then I have a picture of me and my grandfather when he was younger and just a bunch of prints that I got from Pinterest, so. My inspo with this area right here came from Dobo Chobo's YouTube account. Um, I saw her college dorm and I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna make a collage on my wall like that. So I did. But yeah, that is a basic dorm tour. It is not much, but I wanted to go ahead and film this video before I move out this spring, which is still a while away, but knowing me, I would forget and not film it. So very fun. So now we have the dreaded life updates. This is the boring part. If you don't want to watch it, you don't have to. Um, so I had started this YouTube channel my senior year of high school and um, I wanted to film videos throughout college, which I'm hoping to still do, but it has been a rough fall semester. Um, I, like I, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I had a dorm tour video all filmed the first week I got to college and then things, personal things happened and I didn't get the video uploaded. I was in a horrible mental state and I needed to take time for myself, which is why I quit filming videos, which was completely understandable. I'm not a YouTuber anyway, so, um, and originally I wanted to try to film more like college life because I love those types of videos on YouTube and I still want to do that. I'm not saying I'm not, but it was really hard the fall semester. Um, I was completely prepared for college. I plan, I hate change, which is why I mentally prepare like six months in advance. So when I got to college, I was completely fine. And then it's just time management and stress was taking over and I just could not balance this with everything that was going on. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much why I haven't been uploading on YouTube. I want to try to post more. Um, it's just, I get anxiety filming in front of other people. I want to kind of get out of that because I honestly, people don't care. Like I figured that out the hard way. But going into this new year, I am completely like wanting to just start new and fresh and like be super positive. And this, the first month of January has been amazing. Um, I am in a ministry group at my college and I'm a leader actually, and it's been amazing. And it's just what I need, I feel like to keep going. And I also made some resolutions that I thought I'd share because I feel like they have really helped me this first, 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 first month of this year. Um, and yeah, so I thought I would share that with you. So my first one is building my relationship with God, of course. Um, I decided to join Delight Ministry, which is a group here at my college and it's a women's ministry group and it has been amazing. And 
I feel like if I wasn't in that, I wouldn't be doing anything and I would be, I don't know. I just, I'm glad I joined that. So yeah, so number two is reading more. I personally love reading and um, I have made a goal for myself to read 15 books this year. And so far I've read three, which is, I'm very ahead of my goal right now. Um, but reading helps me cope with a lot of things. And if I'm stressed, I read. If I don't wanna be on my phone anymore, I read. So yeah, I have read um, The Red Queen, um, that series, I forget the author. <laughs> and I've read um, Verity by Colleen Hoover. And I read, there's another one I forgot. <laughs> um, oh yeah, The Silent Patient. Um, it's just some trendy book talk books, but I love Colleen Hoover. She's great. And I'm currently reading her newest book, Reminders of Him, that just came out this last month. And it's actually really good so far. So yeah. And number three is to have a consistent workout routine. I've been really doing really well with that recently. So um, I feel like that has really helped me get out of a funk that I was in. Um, so working out makes me feel good about myself and makes me feel better. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I'll eventually film a morning routine. I actually tried to film one the other day, but it was a complete flop because I was almost late to work. So I had to stop filming. Um, so yeah, that's my third resolution. My fourth one is being present and positive. Um, my, I try to be a positive person as it is to spread good and to just try to be a good person to other people because you never know what other people are going through. That's what I've learned through this last fall semester. And we are all perfectly imperfect. So I want to focus on stop being so negative to myself and look into like making, sh like I want to let myself know that I'm good. Like. I can stop being so mean to myself. I need to quit that. And you do too. You're beautiful. And if you're a guy watching this, you're beautiful too. Um, so yeah. And number five is journaling. Journaling has been amazing to me. After what I went through the, during the fall semester, I started journaling and it has been a great way to put all of your feelings down on paper and just closing the book and that being that, I highly recommend journaling. Like that is just, I recommend it. This is my journal right now. My friend Abby gave this to me for Christmas and I love it so much. It just matches um, anyway. But those are my five resolutions and life updates. I currently, I wanna get this uploaded. Um, it's not a perfect video, I'm just, film this to kind of get myself back out there just to kind of let you guys know what was going on because I had a lot of like video ideas planned for um for just college in general so I still have those ideas and I want to film them and I want to eventually film like a morning routine and night routine and just like a day in my life and like um hopefully filming just some other things that I do like it won't be very often, I feel like, because I am a nursing major and that's pretty rigorous as it is. And my classes right now are kind of, right now are kind of hard. So um, we're just trying to balance everything. So this will be one of those things that I will do when I have time, I feel like. But I definitely want to keep doing this YouTube thing. <laughs> I feel like it helps me cope as well with a bunch of things so thank you guys for watching this boring video i hope you got something out of it and i hope you like my dorm um i'm very proud of it i'm sad that i have to move out this summer and have to take all of this stuff down because that is gonna suck but anyway um i love you guys subscribe if you have it if you don't subscribe i don't care um don't i don't care um but yeah have a great day. Love you guys. And my plants love you too. If you haven't gotten a succulent for your dorm or your room, go get one now. This is your sign.
go get one.